Doc McStuffins, a dragon's best friend. Ready or not, here I come. Doc calls to her toys. Stuffy is hiding in the perfect spot, until something strange crawls up his tail. Spider. Stuffy cries. On my tail. Doc looks at Stuffy's tail and laughs. It's not a spider at all. Or, Doc says. He's a cutie patootie. Bounce. Pop. Pop. The cutie patootie rushes up to Stuffy's face and sticks out his tongue. Slurp. Whoever owns him, Stuffy shouts, you can have him back. Now. Stuffy leaps right, the toy leaps right. I'm not playing. Stuffy says. You go that way. I'll go this way. Stuffy leaps left, the toy leaps left. I know I'm a big, brave dragon, Stuffy says. But can you give me a little space? Stuffy, I don't think he understands you, Doc says. He's a toy pet. He won't be able to tell us who his owner is, Doc says. So you guys ask the toys, and I'll ask the kids. Doc and her toys search the park. I can't find anyone who knows who he belongs to, Doc says. The toys in the park say he's been out here alone for days, Lammy adds. Stuffy hears Doc's dad calling and hops into the Doc mobile. We can't just leave this little guy out here all alone, Doc says. But he's so annoying. Stuffy cries. I always have room for another toy, Doc tells him. Back at Doc's clinic, Hallie meets the new toy. Sweet nibbles, I could just eat him up. The hippo gushes. Sweet nibbles, sweet nibbles, squibbles. That's what we'll call him. But all of a sudden, Squibbles looks scared. He hops and bops behind Stuffy's leg, trying to hide. Is he, okay? Stuffy wonders. Not that I care or anything. I think so, Doc says. But to be sure, we should do a checkup. Luckily, Doc McStuffins isn't just the best toy doctor in the world, she's a vet for toy pets, too. Doc tries to lead Squibbles to the vet clinic, but Squibbles isn't going anywhere. I know who he'll follow, Doc says. Who? Stuffy wonders. Oh, right, me. Here, boy. Stuffy calls to Squibbles. Squibbles jumps into Stuffy's brave dragon arms. He's a toy pet, so he doesn't understand that a checkup is good for him, Doc tells Stuffy. That's why I need you to hold him still. Doc gives Squibbles a checkup. The toy pet has a strong heartbeat and is the perfect height and weight. Now that we know Squibbles is in good shape, we can try to find his owner, Doc says. Lammy gets the paper. Chili gets the markers. The toys make posters for Doc to hang in the park. I need someone to look after Squibbles while I'm gone, Doc says. I can, if you really need me to, Stuffy sighs. Thanks, Stuffy, Doc says. I know that will make him happy. Stuffy takes Squibbles outside. Want to play catch? He asks. Yip. Yip. Squibbles barks. After Squibbles makes a daring midair catch, he lands on a high tree branch, and... The branch breaks. Squibbles tumbles down towards Stuffy. Ouch. His antenna is bent. Oh, no. I'm sorry I threw the ball so high, Squibbles, Stuffy says. It's a pet vet emergency. Doc McStuffins arrives just in time to save the day. Squibbles was fine at his checkup earlier, Doc says. The only difference now is his antenna. He has a case of antenna crush syndrome. Don't worry, little buddy, Stuffy says. You're going to be okay, I promise. Stuffy cuddles Squibbles tightly. Doc bends his antenna back into place. Stuffy is very relieved and happy. Doc hears her mom calling. A boy saw one of Doc's posters in the park. He's coming to pick up his lost toy. Oh, wow, Stuffy says when he hears the news. That's just, swell. He sniffs. Be careful out there. Try not to get lost again, 
or break your antenna. Well, bye, Squibbles. A few minutes later, Doc comes back to the clinic with a surprise. Her stethoscope shimmers, and she pulls Squibbles from behind her back. Squibbles was not the boy's lost toy after all. Wahoo! Stuffy shouts. I was thinking, Doc. Squibbles doesn't have a home, so maybe we can adopt him. Okay, Doc says. But remember, having a pet is a lot of work. Squibbles, weed, we'd love you to stay, Stuffy stammers. If you'll have me, I'll have you. Hop. Hop. Bounce. Slurp. That's my boy. Stuffy laughs. Welcome to the family. Doc and the toys shout. Stuffy didn't even know he wanted a toy pet, but now he can't imagine life without a dragon's best friend. The end.